I do that every Thursday night. Every Thursday night, I go to my local forest, and I just slam my body into trees. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to my Pokemon Black Randomized Nuzlocke. It's episode 13, and in today's episode, we are going to travel west of Nimbasa City. I'm hyped, and if you guys are hyped, make sure you hit that like button for me. You guys are the best, and in the previous episode, we battled Gym Leader Elisa, and we got our fourth badge here in the Unova region. I don't know where we're going to end up in today's episode, but damn it, I am excited to record a powerful episode of Pokemon Black for you guys. So without further ado, let's begin today's episode with a very quick team recap to get everybody up to speed on what the squad is looking like. So here we have Antonio, the poet, at level 30. This thing is a Roserade. I am so happy that Antonio is back on the team. You guys know we had a Roserade in our Pokemon Platinum randomized Nuzlocke, and now he is here. He is back in the Pokemon Black randomized Nuzlocke. He has the moves. Poison Sting, Mega Drain, Magical Leaf, and Shadow Ball, and he is at level 30. I can't remember if I said that or not, and he is holding the Lucky Egg to get more and more experience. Next up, we have Kevin. You guys already know Kevin Durant, MVP of the team. He's at level 29. He has the moves X Scissor, Bug Bite, Agility, and Dig. Coming up next, we have Ambipom, aka Tommy, our starter Pokemon. This Pokemon has two tails. He's at level 26, and he has the moves Fury Swipes, Swift, Scree, and Shadow Ball. Coming up next, we have Slim Shady, aka the Heatmore. At level 26, this Pokemon spits that super hot fire, and he has the moves Fire Spin, Fury Swipes, Cut, and Incinerate, and he's holding the Quick Claw because he is not very fast. Coming up next, we have Roscoe the Marsh Stomp at level 25. I love this Pokemon so much. He is so powerful. He puts in the finest of work. He is holding the Soft Sand to power up those already powerful Ground-type attacking moves, and he has the moves Tackle, Dig, Mud Bomb, and Water Gun. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, that is the squad moving forward in this Nuzlocke. You guys already know we unfortunately had two casualties in the previous episode. And I'm not going to say anything. All I'm going to say is rest in peace. I'm going to try to keep the good vibes flowing in today's episode. Try to stay positive. I don't want to think of the past. I want to think about the here and the now. But if you missed the previous episode, episode 12, Make sure you go check it out. The link to that episode will be down below in the description. Now, before we head to the west, I just want to see how many Pokeballs we have because we're probably going to run into some run into some randomized encounters in today's episode. Where are my balls at? Where are my balls at? I think they're over here. All right, so we have a Dive Ball, two Pokeballs, nine Ultra Balls, a Luxury Ball, a Smoke Ball, and that is it. So before I do anything else, actually, we have some Heal Balls as well. I'm going to go to the Mart really quickly. We'll go to the Pokemon Center, then go to the little Mart section. And I am going to buy some balls because I want to make sure that if we run into something powerful, that we will be able to catch that Pokemon. Hi, how you doing, Mr. Store Clerk? Now, I have a lot of money, actually. Now, I can't buy Ultra Balls just yet. Uh, so I'm going to buy... Haven't we been able to buy Ultra Balls maybe in this particular city they don't sell Ultra Balls, because I'm pretty sure we have bought Ultra Balls in previous cities. I don't know, maybe I'm crazy. I mean, we have nine of them. That means we probably bought them. But anyway, enough about that, enough of my rambling. Let's buy ten Great Balls, okay? Let's buy a couple more Hyper Potions, because like my mama always says, it's better to be safe than to be sorry. And I think we're good there. You know what, let's buy a couple Super Repels as well. Let's buy about six Super Repels. I do not remember having this much money. This is incredible. Um, I want to buy a couple more Great Balls, to be completely honest with you. I want to buy 10 more Great Balls. I can't afford 10 more. So you know what? I'm going to buy 5 more, and I'm going to leave myself with about $2,300. Hey, Nurse Joy, how you doing? Do we need to get our balls healed? No, we don't. We are at full health. We are good to go. I am excited to continue this lock. I have a very small window of time to get this episode done. It is currently 9 o'clock. I have to be out of here and at the pizzeria by 10 o'clock my time because I have to lock the pizzeria up. I have to close the pizzeria, and I can't leave the guys that are working there hanging. I can't show up late, so I got to make sure I get all of this. I have to get this episode done 
before 10 o'clock. I have an hour. I'm golden. I'm going to be able to get this done. I'm excited to be recording right now, though. So we're going to come through here and emboss this city's little tunnel over here. We can talk to this guy or this girl. I'm not really sure if it's a guy or a girl, but I wonder who writes the news on the bulletin board. Completely useless information. Is this going to be a new route? Please be a new route. This is Route 5. Now, is Route 5 a new route? I told myself at the beginning of this series I was going to write all the routes down in my handy-dandy phone, in my handy-dandy notepad, and your boy forgot like he always does. But anyway, let's check the town map app because I'm pretty sure this is a new route. I'm pretty, pretty sure. Route 5. Now, we've been all over here. There's no other Route 5s over here. So we haven't been over in this area yet. This has to be a new route. It's a, bitty, it's a busy road where performers gather. Very cool. We're going to get a new randomized encounter right now. And you guys already know we're going to nickname this Pokemon after one of you guys in the comments from the previous episode. And if you guys are new here, I stand corrected. We're about to battle Sharon, apparently. Didn't we just battle this man? I feel like we battled him, like, what, two episodes ago? I guess we're gonna battle him again. But like I was saying, if you guys are new here, how you doing? My name is Vinny. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. But the way we do things in my series, if you want a chance to have a Pokemon nicknamed after you, all you gotta do is leave a comment in the comment section, and I could potentially pick you. And I don't know why I said section instead of section. Section just sounds, you know, a lot more fancy. A lot more awesome. Let's read Sharon's dialogue. Let's battle this man. And then we can get a randomized encounter. Vinny, stop. You've got a bulk badge. I've got a bulk badge. Let's test who's stronger. You or me. This time, I'm going to win. All right. It's time to battle Sharon. I did not see this coming. But it's totally okay. I feel like the lighting looks really good tonight. And also, I'm in a great mood tonight. I hope tonight I can speak. I hope you guys are having an amazing night as well. Let me know what you're doing today. Here comes a Ninjask. And we're going to battle this Ninjask with our Antonio. But no, we're going to switch out. We are actually going to go over to Slim Shady. So yeah, breaking the fourth wall, as I always love to do. It is currently 9.05 p.m. on Thursday night. So you guys are watching this episode on Friday. I'm recording this on Thursday. Going to upload it on Friday. Unless you're not watching this video the day it goes up. The day this video goes up is going to be on a Friday. So happy Friday, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know what you're doing this weekend. We could have a nice discussion in the comment section down below. And of course... We miss the fire spin. Now, you're going for a double team once again. You're trying to defeat me with the hacks, but I'll tell you something. The hacks are not going to work on Chicka Chicka Slim Shady. Yes, they are. They are working on Chicka Chicka Slim Shady. Slim Shady, open your damn eyes. You're a rap god. You can do this. Mind Reader, what does that do? You took aim at me. What are your What is your moveset, Ninjask? I don't think you have anything that can hurt me. You have Mind Reader, you have Double Team, what else? Finally, we connect with the Fire Spin, and that's almost a one-hit KO. I have on the Retro Bowser hat tonight. You guys were loving this hat in the stream last night, so we're going to rock this hat for this episode. And I love this hat. This is one of my favorite hats that I have, and I have a lot of cool hats. I'm a hat guy. I'm a hat connoisseur. I'm not really a hat connoisseur, but I wear a lot of hats in my videos from time to time. Why am I talking so fast? I don't know. I was having a little bit of trouble breathing today, so right before I started recording this episode, I took two puffs of my inhaler, and I think that increased my heart rate, so that might be why I'm talking so fast, because I am very hyper right now. A oh, Reg Ice is coming in. Do you say Reg Ice? Do you say Reg Ice? Let me know in the comments down below. I personally say Reg Ice. Now, we are going to go for the Fire Spin. Slim Shady is the perfect Pokemon to take down a Reg Ice. The Quick Claw popped, and we are going to go for the Fire Spin. This might be... Like, from beginning to end, the most words I have ever said in an episode of a Nuzlocke because I'm talking at the speed of light. I hope you guys don't mind. I can take it back. I can slow it down a bit. Why are we still missing fire spins? There's no way a Red Ice is nimble enough to dodge a fire spin. Oh my god, that does literally nothing. You're going for the icy wind. We're going to eat that up, eat that up. Eat that, eat that, eat that. Beautiful. We eat that up. So the reason why I'm recording this episode on Thursday night, breaking the fourth wall, as I always love to do, and uploading it Friday is because tomorrow I'm going to be at the pizzeria all day, and I want to do a live stream tonight. So this episode will be prepared for tomorrow when I'm at work. I will release this episode to the public, to you guys, the Kanto Kids. And by the way, Kanto Kids, I have a little public service announcement. Not really a public service announcement, but I just want to say thank you guys so much for the love and support on this series, and thank you so much for the love and support on the streams. We have been streaming every night this week, 
and you guys have just been coming through. There have been like 200 people at a time hanging out. I just want to say thank you guys so much. And for those of you guys that have been missing the streams, all of the streams that I upload from now on get uploaded directly to the channel. So, if you missed the stream, you could definitely go check it out. You can definitely watch it. And they're absolutely hilarious. I know some of them are really long, so you might be thinking, Vinny, I don't really necessarily want to sit through a two-hour video. I think you should do it because I'm telling you right now, we have so much fun and Pokemon Prism has been such a fun game. That is the game that we have been live streaming. The Quick Claw pops and we should be able to take down this Reg Ice. By the way, are we all just gonna... Slim Shady, you gotta eat this up! Slim Shady, you gotta eat this up! Slim Shady, you gotta eat this up! Come on, you ate one up before, you can eat one up again. Please eat it up, Slim Shady. Please eat it up, Slim Shady. Motherfucker, man! WHY THE FUCK DOES FIRE SPIN KEEP MISSING?! I haven't yelled in a couple of days, my voice was finally starting to get back. But MOTHER FUCKER, MAN! Fire spin! It's because it has 85 accuracy. You've gotta be fucking kidding me with this! I'm, I'm so upset about it. Like, like, what the fuck? We have been doing good for for a while. And then all of a sudden, the last episode, we lose two Pokemon. This episode, we lose a Pokemon. What the fuck? Excuse my language. Sorry, I curse a lot. That's gonna kill my voice. That yell right there, gonna kill my voice. And my voice was just starting to get better. I gotta stop yelling. I gotta start. I gotta stop yelling. <sighs> I'm very upset. I'm very upset. And Slim Shady has been able to eat up explosions in the past. I guess one from a Regice was just way too powerful. But that was not my fault. I know in the previous episode it was my fault. You guys were yelling at me in the comments, rightfully so. I sent in a Steel type against a Fighting type. Not a good idea. I understand. But, but, we had a Fire type out against an Ice type. We were fine. The explosion happened. Maybe I should have seen it coming. But Fire Spin, if it would have connected, probably would have killed that Regice. I think. I'm pretty confident and would have. But you know what? We can't get hung up on this. Slim Shady, rest in peace, my dude. My chest is so sore. That hurt from punching it. Let's go out to Kevin. You know, what could I have done realistically there? You know, an explosion probably would have killed anything on my team except for Kevin. Kevin might have been able to eat up an explosion. Now, I really don't want to get roasted in the comments. What typing is this gallet? I'm going to look this up really quickly on the handy-dandy internet, on my handy-dandy phone. You are, you are a ground and ghost type. You're weak to dark grass, water, ice, and ghost. Okay. Dark grass, water, ice, and ghost. Uh, what do I... I can go out to Antonio. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go right out to Antonio to take down this gallop because I am not taking any unnecessary risks. I'm so upset. Slim Shady, I was so attached to that Heatmore man. Such a cool Pokemon. An anteater made of fire. Like, his whole body was on fire. I'm so salty. So salty. I can taste the salt on my body. I, I can literally taste the salt on my body. Sharon, I feel like I feel like you're an asshole. That's what I feel like. And I feel like those Pokemon always wait till the last minute to explode. Like, oh, I'm about to die anyway. Explosion. See you later, Archaeops. You're a rock type. Roscoe, get in here. Man. I really don't think that was my fault. I'm going to be honest. I, you guys know, I admit when things are my fault. I, I I was in a perfect position right there. I really was. Archaeops, how you doing? We're going to go for a water gun. And you're going for a pluck. We should eat this up. Okay, I don't know why my game is lagging so much, but we really did not eat that up. And if we would have gotten a crit, if he would have gotten a crit, we would have died. I kind of want to switch out right now because I should definitely switch out right now. Why are we having so much trouble? I kind of just want to go out to Kevin. There's nothing that this thing can do to Kevin. Kevin is the way to go. Kevin is the truth. Kevin is the fucking MVP. Quick guard. I don't even know what that does, but it doesn't matter. Let's go for an excess see how much damage that does. Now, is this thing rock and flying or just rock? It's not very effective. I'm not really an expert on bug typing, but what's going on? You got a berry? What do you got? A citrus berry? Citrus berry. How convenient. Oh, agility. Oh, you want to raise your speed. How cool is that? Yeah, not that cool. x scissor again. Quick guard, what does this do? That scares me. It protected the foe's team. From what? From what? You're gonna die the next turn anyway, you fucking prick. 
I'm so salty. Quick guard, totally fine. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here, Sharon. We went from a powerful full team of six to a team of four. I'm not losing this lock. I'm telling you guys right now, I am not losing this fucking lock. I am not losing it again. You guys already know we lost the first time we restarted. We are not losing this time around. We are just not. Why? Why can't I beat you? Shut the fuck up. Oh, why, why did you come from over there if your gym's over there? I'm a little bit confused, but... Oh, you two are friends? That's nice. You're helping each other get better by competing. Yeah, and he's killing my fucking loved ones, you fucking prick, Sharon. I've said fuck so many times in today's episode because I'm sad. I love Slim Shady. Chicka chicka Slim Shady. And I'm sad that I yelled. I really am. You guys know. I've been talking about my voice nonstop lately. It's because every day I wake up and it feels like shit. And I've been trying my best to keep my voice under control by not yelling. And then I lose a Pokemon. And I can't help. I can't help it. My instinct tells me to yell. Okay? Hashtag Team Instinct in the comments down below. Okay, let's go. Where are we going? I don't want to be a part of this. I just want to run into the grass and I want to get a Pokemon because I only have four Pokemon on my team. Oh, why if it isn't Elisa? This guy has really cool hair. Aren't festivals grand? Life should be enjoyed. Yeah, it should. You shouldn't, you know, you shouldn't lose your Pokemon to Sharon and then be all upset about it like I am. You should keep your Pokemon alive. But a fucking Regice explosion. Really? Really, though? Whatever. Who is this man? Shut the fuck up, Sharon. This is Alder, the Unova region's champion. Oh, shit. Word? Wow, all right. Champion? Why would the champion be goofing off in a place like this? Sharon, he could probably hear you. I heard that remark. Yeah, literally right there. You're quite a judgmental young person, are you not? My name is Alder. I'm the Unova Pokemon League's champion. Pleased to make your acquaintance. For your information, I'm not goofing off. I'm on a voyage. I know every corner of Unova. Um, I'm Sharon from Nuvemba Town. I'm kind of a dick, and my goal is, as a trainer is to become the champion. Hmm, traveling with a goal in mind is a commendable thing. And what do you plan to do after becoming the champion? Continuing to be a dick, maybe? I don't know, that's just my two cents. I'm just throwing my two cents in there. See, I'm just throwing them in. Anyway, what else is there other than striving to become stronger? Building bonds with your Pokemon, Sharon. The strongest trainer! That's the champion! Hmm, becoming stronger. Becoming stronger, you say? Is that alone enough of a goal? Hmm. It's not that I'm trying to say your way of thinking is wrong. In my travels, I've helped many people learn to love Pokemon. I think that's important, too. If you play with those children, you might gain more of an understanding. Will you two have a Pokemon battle with those two? I'd rather go heal first. I would really rather go heal. Hey, you two, come here for a moment. Please don't do this. Please don't do this. Understood, but before that... Oh... Thank you. All right, my Pokemon are healed. That's good. Okay, let's battle. All right, please have Weedles and Kakunas. Please don't have any strong Pokemon. Weedle and Kakuna. Weedle and Kakuna. Weedle and Kakuna. Boozel and a Wooper. Okay, I can deal with this. I can deal with this. And I love this music so much, man. It just makes me want to dance. It makes me want to get all crazy. I love it. I love it a lot. All right, so we're sending out Antonio, and he has a Ninjask out. So we're going to go for a Magical Leaf on... Now, we really could go for a Magical Leaf on either of them. I'm going to go for the Wooper first. Wooper is going to get absolutely bodied by a Magical Leaf because I believe he's quad weak to grass. He's water and ground, right, Whoops, uh, Wooper? I was going to say Whoopsire. Shout out to Whoopsire. How you doing, my dude? But yeah, Wooper, I'm pretty sure, is weak to grass and... It's... Typing is grass and water. No! Holy shit. I'm losing my train of thought. Wooper is a ground and water type, and it's weak to grass quad week to grass. I can speak. I can do it. I believe in myself. Let's go for a magical leaf on the Boozel. Boozel? Boozel? Boozel. I think it's a Boozel. Correct me if I'm wrong. This Ninjask is just going to raise his speed. I'm picking up what you're putting down there, Sharon, but it probably would be a good idea just to attack the Boozel. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm saying this Pokemon's name wrong, but that is a one-hit KO and beautiful. We just impressed the champion. I have a feeling that we impressed the champion. And that, my friends, is some high-quality H2O. We got $208 for that, which is really nice. It's really not really nice, but it's pretty nice. Nicely done! You didn't win, but that was a good battle. Your Pokémon looked like they were having fun. Young man, if there are people like you who pursue strength, 
There are also people who are happy just being with Pokemon. There are many different people and many different answers. When it comes to what a champion should be, you and I may hold differing views, but so be it. Give it some thought. Let's roll. The Driftvale drawbridge is just ahead. Why are we all of a sudden, like, hanging out with Elisa? I don't want to do this. The champion is the strongest of strong. That's all there is to it. Okay, so he's going to follow Elisa. Do I have the ability to move around now? Yes! All right, so what I'm going to do quickly... Do I have to go heal? I probably don't even have to. No, I'm good. I'm golden. So what I'm going to do right now is get an encounter here in Route 5, and we're going to nickname this Pokemon after one of you guys in the comments. Sec I have to go put Slim Shady in the death box, don't I? Yep. Yep, you got a Vinny. And I'm talking to myself, but you know what? Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, kids. Like I always say, if there's a fork in the road, go straight. Alright, I want everybody to comment that in the comments down below. Everyone that's watching this right now, if there's a fork in the road, dot dot dot, go straight. Okay? That's life lessons with Vinny. That's beautiful life lessons with Vinny. That's beautiful and amazing fun times life lessons with Vinny. I'm just so upset that we have to put some shady in the fucking death box right now. I am not okay with this. I am not okay with this one bit. Ugh. I have to take the item from him. Take the quick claw. Alright. Now we gotta put him in the death box. Ugh. We almost have a full row in the death box. I don't like that. Look at look at this. Just look at this. Iggly buff. Iggly buff, right? Yeah. Iggly buff, Lillipup, coughing, Empoleon, and heat more. I'm gonna miss you, my dude. I really am going to miss you. Nurse Joy, how you doing? I'm having a rough day. Could you please heal up all my balls? Thank you, miss. I really appreciate that. Okay. So now, hopefully, we can get some good vibes flowing because we had good vibes before we battled Sharon, and now the good vibes just got, you know, slapped in the face with a baseball bat. They got hit in the face with a baseball bat. You can't slap someone with a baseball bat. I guess you could, but I guess the proper term would be to hit someone with a baseball bat. I don't know. Welcome to Ramble City. My name is Vinny. I am the mayor. We're going to get an encounter right now on Route 5. Please give me something good. Please give me something good. Please give me something good. Come on. Here we go. Please. Please. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. That's something good. Oh, Magnazone at level 22. This thing has the Mold Breaker ability. I have no idea what that does. We're going to figure that out after we catch this thing. There's something in my left eye. Please don't distract me from this battle. Magnazone is power, and we don't have an electric type, so this is going to be a great addition to the team. Now, the question is, what should I do to weaken this thing down? Let's go for a Mega Drain. Mega Drain should probably do a very little amount of damage to this thing. Am I right? Yeah, it's not very effective. We're just going to slowly whittle this thing down. You are going for a Thunder Wave. I feel a burp coming on. Oh, that was nice. That tasted like the chicken soup that I had for dinner. It really did. It tasted like chicken soup. You guys don't want to know what that tasted like. That was disgusting. I apologize for that. Let's go for Mega Drain. Let's continue to go for Mega Drain. We're paralyzed. That's totally fine. Yo, Magnazone is going to be nothing but power. I want this thing on the team. Why was that? That was a crit. That's why it did more damage. That's why it did more damage. I want to weaken it down a little bit more. I kind of want to go for the Poison Sting. Poison Sting won't kill. No, you know what? Don't risk it, Vinny. Don't risk it to get the Biscuit today. Let's just throw an Ultra Ball. Let's try to catch this. Magnazone, and we will be in business. We will be good to go. Please stay in the ball. Please stay in the ball. Are we really going to do this? Are we really going to do this right now? Why am I dancing? I don't know. Sonic Boom. That's going to hurt. Okay, we eat that up. 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 Please. Please. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Whoa, stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. I'll give you milk and cookies like a Santa Claus. I'll give you milk and cookies like a Santa Claus. I'll give you milk and cookies like a Santa Claus. Yes. Yes. Hashtag, I'll give you milk and cookies like a Santa Claus. Oh, oh, baby. I'm excited. My ear is itchy, but this is good vibes right here. That's what it's all about. Magnet area Pokemon, the Magnazone, electric and steel type. Let me read the description. A group tried to use scientific means to make Magnazone evolve, but their efforts ended in failure. Is that hinting at a potential, you know, fourth evolution in the Magnemite line? That would be kind of wild. Let's go to the comments from the previous episode, and let's find a nickname for this Magnazone. Okay, I'm going to try my best to pronounce your name correctly. Andrew Hans Kurniawan. Am I saying that right? Let me know in the comments. Andrew Hans 
Kurnia Wan. Thank you so much for the love and support. Thank you so much for dropping a comment. And we are going to nickname this Magnazone after you. So, we're going to nickname this Magnazone Andrew. That's a perfect nickname for a Magnazone. So, again, Andrew, thank you so much for dropping a comment. Thank you for the love and support. And thank you all so much for the love and support. You guys are the best. I say it all the time. We have the greatest community of people here on the channel. So, let's check out Andrew the Magnazone. This Pokemon is an absolute beast. Beast, electric and steel type it's at level 22 it has the mold breaker ability which does what moves can be used regardless of abilities so does that mean abilities don't matter like if someone had like the soundproof ability okay and it couldn't be hit by like growl or any other moves that involve sound then we could use those moves i think that's what it means if that's the case this is a pretty solid ability and yo rash nature is perfect for a Magnezone, it raises our special attack and lowers our special defense. I am very happy about that. Look at this thing's special attack. 75, and it's only at level 22. That's kind of wild. And this thing has the moves Supersonic, Sonic Boom, Thunder Wave, and Spark. And the good thing about Thunder Wave is that that will help catch wild randomized encounters when we have to catch some more wild randomized encounters. Now, what I'm going to do really quickly is teach Volt Switch to the Magnezone. I really hope that he can learn this. He can learn it beautiful. So, someone was asking um, why I didn't randomize the TMs. I'm pretty sure that I did, but someone was saying that the TMs were not randomized. So, maybe the TMs in this game are not randomized. I could have sworn I did do that, but it seems like all of the TMs that we have, their move compatibility is normal like in the regular game. So, Volt Switch, Electric type Pokemon, can learn it. So, I'm very happy about that. That is a good thing. So, we are going to teach Volt Switch to this Magnezone. I am going to get rid of... I kind of want to get rid of Spark. No, I gotta keep Spark, because we're, we're only gonna use Volt Switch when we're gonna wanna switch out, obviously. So you know what? Let's get rid of Sonic Boom. Let's get rid of Sonic Boom, because Sonic Boom only does 20 hit points of damage. It only has, yeah, it only does 20 hit points of damage. I was gonna say it only has 20 power, but yeah. It only does 20 hit points of damage, so it's better to have the Volt Switch on there. And before I do anything else, I do wanna go heal. Let's see what else we could have ran into. So we could have gotten a Snow Runt. So I'm very, very happy that we got a Magazone. I would much rather have a Magazone than a Snow Run. But Andrew is going to put in... Boy! <laughs> we could have gotten a fucking Dark Rye. That's wild. That is wild. I've said that a lot in today's episode. But seriously, that's wild. Alright, we got to battle this girl right here in a really cool and big backpack. We're going to battle her. And she sends out a Swellow at level 23 shout out to birdie jet if you guys don't know who birdie jet is come through to a pokemon prism live stream or go watch the live streams that the past live streams that are up on the channel now and you will know who birdie jet is that pokemon puts in nothing but the finest of work and we are going to have a swellow very soon because right now we have a Talo, and once Talo evolves into a swellow we will be in good shape but enough about stream talk let's focus on the battle at hand i want to go out to andrew but he's weak so we're going to go out to Kevin right now. He's not weak, like, physically, you know, or defensively. He's just really low on health. You're going for the double team. That's totally fine. What we're going to do is we're going to heal up Andrew, and then we're going to send in Andrew. Because Andrew is going to body the Swellow in one hit. I guarantee it. Quick attack. We're going to eat that up. And the cool thing about Magazone is he's electric and steel. So he is going to resist those normal type attacking moves, which I'm very, very excited about. Hmm. So we're going to battle the Swellow. But yeah, guys, let me know in the comments. After we're done with this battle, I'm going to show you guys all my TMs. And let me know if the TMs were randomized or not. Because like I said, I've never played Black before. This is the first time that I'm playing through Pokemon Black. The first time that I am experiencing Generation 5. And by the way, I absolutely love this generation. Having so much fun with it. I love the music. I love the story so far. I love it all. But anyway, I'm going to show you guys the TMs. And you guys can let me know whether or not they're randomized. I'm pretty sure that I randomized them. But like I said, I could be wrong. Let's go for Spark. And let's see how much damage that does. This is going to be resisted. We're going to eat that up. Oh, baby! Num, 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 num. We're eating that up for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and desserts. And that's almost a one-hit KO. But we do pick up the paralysis, which is nice. We're going to go for a spark now that your speed is cut in half. And we are in really, really good shape. So down goes the Swellow. 
Swallow is one of my favorite flying type Pokemon. Let me know in the comments. That's probably going to be the question of the day today. What is your favorite flying type Pokemon? Flying type Pokemon for me, my favorite, I got to go with Pidgeot. I definitely got to go with Pidgeot. So let me show you guys the TMs right now. This is what we're rocking with. So let me know if these are the regular TMs. I, I feel like they are because someone left a comment saying, why did you not randomize the TM? So these might be the regular TMs. Again, I'm not sure. I don't mean to, you know, beat a dead horse and keep repeating myself here. But I just want to know, are these randomized? Because I could have sworn that I randomized those sons of bitches. I'm going to come over here and grab this item. We found a Twisted Spoon, and I believe that raises Psychic-type attacking moves. That is so weird! That is so weird, Alakadabra! I think you dropped a spoon over there, my dude! We find a Twisted Spoon, and then we run into a Kadabra who is literally holding a Twisted Spoon. That's fucking weird, man. That is seriously fucking weird. A weird, 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 weird coincidence. But anyway, let's make our way back to the Pokemon Center so we can see our girl Nurse Joy. And she will make us feel better. Ooh, I love those lyrics. Who wrote those lyrics? I wrote those lyrics. Oh, cool beans. Cool beans, indeed. How you doing, Nurse Joy? Could you please heal up all my balls? And I was about to say heal my balls, but I waited because I felt the burp. Uh, oh, oh yeah. That was good. Excuse me. Fantastic. Good water, good times, good vibes. I can't believe we lost heat more. <laughs> I just like, I was feeling good and then I just thought about it. I'm like, man, we lost heat more. I am very, very, I was going to say very excited about that. I'm very upset about that. I am the farthest thing from excited about that. But you know what? It's okay because we got Andrew now. He's got the Mold Breaker ability. He's a powerful Magnezone. We're going to be fine. So let's come back here to Route 5. And before we do anything else, let's just keep battling some trainers. Now, I wonder... If we go to where Elisa is, I wonder if we can get another randomized encounter before today's episode ends. That would be fantastic. Let me take the item from Antonio, aka the Lucky Egg, and let's give the Lucky Egg to Andrew because I want Andrew to get caught up with the rest of the squad. Where art thou, Lucky Egg? Where are you? Where are you, the luckiest of eggs? No, seriously, Lucky Egg, where the fuck are you? You're up here. Okay. So we're going to give you the Lucky Egg, and we can give the Quick Claw to Kevin... So let's give Kevin the Quick Claw, and now we're good to go. Now we're good to proceed, and here's an Ambipom. Shout out to Tommy. What's going on? This might be Tommy's sister. This might be Tommy's long-lost sister. Can we please run away? Thank you. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put Magnezone in the front, a.k.a. Andrew, so that Andrew can eat up, gobble up that experience. Let's come over here and battle this guy, but first we got to battle a Lucario. Yo, there are some serious, powerful Pokemon in this grass, in this route, Let's battle you. Let's see what Pokemon that you have on your team. We can battle you. We can feel good about ourselves after we defeat you. And you're going to send out a Weezing. Shout out to Gym Leader Matt. I feel like Nuzlocke's do this to me all the time. I will lose a Pokemon and then in the next episode or the episode that the Pokemon, you know, died, they'll throw the Pokemon right back at me. I mean, granted, you know, Gym Leader Matt, a.k.a. our coughing, was a coughing. He wasn't a Weezing, but we did have Cat. Cat was a Weezing. And Matt would have evolved into a Weezing at some point. All right. Let's body this thing. That's what I want to do. I'm going to go for the Volt Switch right off the bat. Get a little bit of residual damage off on this thing. Get a little bit of damage off on this thing. Then we're going to go out to... Wow, that did a lot of damage. Magnezone, calm down. Let's go out to... Let's go out to Kevin. Let's go out to Kevin and take down this Weezing. Because this thing is a poison type. It should not be able to do anything to Kevin. And if this thing wants to explode, that is totally fine. You can explode all you want. Kevin is going to eat it up because you know why? Kevin is the motherfucking MVP. x Scissor should pick up the kill, though. It should. It's not very effective. It doesn't. Assurance again. That's totally fine. Now this x Scissor will body this Weezing. Down goes Weezing. Down goes Weezing. And I feel good today, man. I feel good today. Besides losing Slim Shady, today has been a great day. And I hope you guys are having an amazing day as well. Let's pick this up. We found a Power Lens. Cool Beans. Let's come over here and pick up this item. And we found a potion. Can someone just give me a Master Ball already? That would be great. Are these all trainers? No, they're not. All right, let's go over here and find Elisa and Sharon and see what they're up to. This way! Okay, let's do it. Now to contact him. Who do you want to contact? Where are we right now? I really have no idea. It's me, Elisa. Please lower the drawbridge. I have a couple of trainers here who want to challenge you. Okay, thanks. Who are we challenging? This just sounds scary to me. Now watch this! Oh, this is about to be nice. This is about to be thumbnail material. I think this is about to be thumbnail material, my dudes. 
Yo, these graphics from 2011, though. That's when this game came out, right? 2011, I'm pretty sure that's when this game came out. It's a big-ass bridge. Has to hashtag big ass bridge. I have a TV gig, so I've got to go. The gym leader of the next town may take some getting used to. Do your best, both of you. Okay, so we have to meet the gym leader from the next town. What I am is a trainer. I prove I'm right by getting stronger and winning in battle, even against the champion. Okay, so Sharon is going across the bridge. My dudes, I think this is a good time to wrap up today's episode. Now, you know what? Let's go across the bridge. Let's go across the bridge. Let's continue this episode for another 10 minutes or so. Let's talk to you, and then we will call it a day. Sometimes above the bridge, you can see the shadows of bird Pokemon, right? Their feathers drift to the ground here, and when you try to pick them up occasionally, you'll run into a Pokemon. Wow. So if we see a feather, we can grab the feather, and then we can run into a Pokemon. Now, is this a new route? Because that would be amazing. That would really be amazing. Yes! This is the Drift Vi Driftville Bridge. Driftvale Bridge. I want a feather. Where are the feathers at? Is this a feather? We found a genius wing. I don't know what that does. Let's, let's check that out. Oh, I just hopped on my bicycle. All right, let's see what the genius wing does. Let's check this out. Let's check this out. Uh, where is the genius wing? Okay, here it is. It's an item for use on a Pokemon. It slightly increases the special, the base special attack stat of a single Pokemon. All right, very cool. Here's another swift wing. So we're just getting wings out the wazoo. Let me get off my bike. I think this is a Pokemon. My dudes, I think we're about to get a randomized encounter. No, health wing. You know, I'm cool with all these wings, but I would really like a randomized encounter. Like, that would be great. That would be a great way to end this episode with a randomized encounter. Give me a, give me a Pokemon. Another swift wing. Okay. Let's continue along. Ooh, another one, another one, another one. Muscle wing. So should we just keep running back and forth and maybe we'll be able to find a randomized encounter? Genius wing. What else? Okay. So... We literally just ran around, and here's a Makuhita, and the game was lagging a little bit here, but yo, I am down for a female Makuhita, and this thing has the snow warning ability, so it begins to hail. We're going to go for the Thunder Wave. We're going to make this thing become paralyzed, and we're going to catch this thing, my dudes, and we're going to add this thing to the team, and we are going to give this thing a nickname from one of you guys in the comments from the previous episode. And that is some high-quality H2O, my friends. All right, Makuhita should be very easy to catch. Very easy to catch. Uh, let's throw an Ultra Ball. Excuse me. Oh my god, I'm burping up a storm. That chicken soup really made me quite gassy. Quite gassy indeed. That's disgusting. Let's catch this Makuhita. And when this thing evolves into a Hariyama, it's gonna be nothing but power. I'm so happy that we just caught this Makuhita. I am so happy. That's how you end an episode. With a powerful randomized encounter on the bridge. This thing is the Guts Pokemon. It toughens its body by slamming into thick trees. Many snap trees can be found near its nest. These things have nests. That's pretty impressive. And they slam their bodies into trees to toughen up. I do that every Thursday night. Every Thursday night, I go to my local forest, and I just slam my body into trees, okay? It's a great way for me to blow off steam. It really is. But anyway, let's find a powerful nickname after one of you guys in the previous episode for this Makuhita. Okay, Alyssa Gagnon. I think Alyssa is the perfect nickname for this Makuhita. I just want to make sure that I spell your name right. A-L-Y-S-S-A. A-L-Y-S-S-A. -S -S so, Alyssa, thank you so much for dropping a comment. Thank you so much for coming through and hanging out in the live streams. I really appreciate it. I see you there all the time. So, thank you so much again for the love and support. I really appreciate it. And we are going to nickname this Makuhita after you. And again, thank you all so much for the love and support. You guys are the best. Let's check out Alyssa. Let's look at her stats and let's see what she is all about. So, she has the snow warning ability like I mentioned earlier. This Pokemon summons a hailstorm in battle. It's at level 22 and she has the moves Fake Out, Whirlwind, Knock Off, and Smelling Salt. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to wrap this episode up right here. I really hope you guys enjoyed episode 13 of the Pokemon Black version Randomized Nuzlocke. Tomorrow, we will be back with a brand new episode of Pokemon Black. We are going to proceed to make our way to... I don't even know where we're going. We're going to continue our journey on this bridge. It's going to be an awesome time. Guys, again, if you enjoyed this episode, hit that like button. Leave a comment. You guys are the best. I love you guys so much. I'm going to go close the pizzeria, and then we're going to get ready for a very powerful live stream. Thank you again for watching, and I will see you guys tomorrow for a very powerful new episode 
of Pokemon Black. As always, love and respect goes out to everybody. Don't forget to comment, to rate, and to subscribe. This is Original 151. I love you guys, and I will see you guys next time.